Hi, Lydia. This is Sabrina. Hi. I'm sorry. She was talking a little bit too long. I'm like, look, it's 801. So that's okay. okay that's I try okay. to keep people on time here. All right. So have I ever helped you before, hon? You have. You've done Gracie, Jesse, Quinn, and Clover, four horses for me in the past. Oh, wow. How long ago? Because I guess she didn't find a file for you. Was it in person? It was in person at Step Stables at Camp Pendleton with the whole group. Oh, okay, okay, because she didn't find a file, but that's because I saw in your purse. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we need to know, dog, cat, bird, iguana, what are we doing for you? A uh, horse, an Icelandic horse. Okay, and what, what's that one's name? Disa, D-I-S-A. Oh, how pretty. Okay, yeah. does it mean something? Um, her full name means uh, daughter or one serving the eagle, which is Arnar, which is her dad's or sire's name is Arnar, which means eagle in Icelandic. Wow, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what color is she? She is red done. Okay, and any facial markings? She does. She has like a little crescent-shaped um, oh, little star. Yeah. Okay, and how old is she? She's 10 years old. Okay, and how long have you had her? Three years. Okay, great. Now, where is she now? Is she still at the step stable? Camp Pendleton, okay. yep. She's there. Okay, okay. Somebody was going to have me come down there and, and do a group. Oh, I think it was That's Bob, me. But... That's oh, me. Oh, you. Got yep, you. Okay, me. So... Me through Bob. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Ugh, I'm going through menopause. Sorry. Girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so when I called her, she picked up her head. She goes, oh, are we doing this now? And I oh. said, yep. Yeah. Oh. And she goes, I'm just having a snack. And I said, okay, I'm not going to stop anything. <laughs> and then she, you know, if I was like standing in front of her, she kind of made a point of coming over to the gate. And she goes, I'm on the night shift, you know. I have to keep an eye out. This is my time. And I said, well, you can still do that and talk to me. And she goes, oh, okay, I guess so. And then she said she doesn't want to change her stall. Did you want to move her from one place to another? Ah, we've been looking at um, houses with horse property. And my question, one of my questions for you, number okay. was board or live in backyard? Okay. Uh, she said, I'll live in the backyard as long as we can ride into a trail. I don't want to have to get into a trailer to go to a trail. Perfect. Makes sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, like that's what, that's what we're they have that are Norco or something. Yep. Because she said, I don't mind riding in the trailer, but she said, wouldn't it be ridiculous to live at home and get in the trailer? This is to true. Go to the trailer and come back. Tell her right, every then, tell her okay. every house that we've looked at is connected to horse trails. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So she said that. So are you looking at Ramona or Escondido or something? We're, you gonna... we're actually looking in state, out of state, um, oh, wow. all over Valley Center, Utah, oh, okay. Arizona. Yeah, there's a lot of good places. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then she looked over at me and she goes, is the other horse coming? Do you have two? No, but <laughs> down the road when my husband retires, this is all when my husband retires, I'm planning on getting an Icelandic for him. And okay. I had okay. to, Gracie, who passed in December. Oh, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, because she said, it's, she said, I'm not going to be the only one living at home, it's going to be someone else. Correct. But, you know, the good <laughs> news is she's farsighted, which is great, that's how my horse is, he's retired. But farsighted horses go to new places with no issues because they can obviously see, see dist um, danger at a distance. Okay. And that's why she takes some of the night shift and stuff. So, oh. Okay, all right, so then she immediately started running down the list like, my saddle's fine. Oh, said, that's uh, my number one question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. So she said the saddle's fine. She said it's not shifting. Is that <gasps> what you were having issues with? Her? Oh, I came off of her. It went sideways on me. Oh no! What I, was that? Yeah, this was uh, like three weeks ago. We're riding wow. a bicycle, scared the one gypsy <sighs> in the front, the baby, and oh. four of us went flying down the hill. <sighs> my saddle went sideways. And it's the only time I've ever come off. Oh off my her. God! Mm -hmm. Wow! Yikes! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you okay, or did you? Oh yeah. Her? Nope. Okay. I bounce right back and tell her I'm very sorry. I didn't tighten her up. <laughs> okay. I do now. And we just ran. We just galloped out. Another uh, free horse is galloping to us. It got wow. loose. It busted out of the, the with the with the halter. Came wow. to us, and we galloped down the aisle. And I said, "Let's <gasps> slow down and make a right hand turn." She listened to me 100%. Wow, and my saddle great. was on. Okay. Nothing happened. I can ride anything out. I I'll tell her. I think I can good. ride anything out on you as long as that saddle's on. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, well, she said it's comfortable. Wow. Um, and and she said she is okay whether you want to ride a halter or a halter with a bridle. Okay. You know, the, she said whatever you want to do, she or a side pull. She goes, That's what I have. I have. You I have, guys are emotionally connected. Oh my God, we're emotionally. So I have a French link, and I also have a Lindell side pull, and I always waver between okay. the two. Okay, so, mm -hmm. and then she looked at me and she goes, can we do some horse camping? Is that something you want to do with her? 
Oh, uh, mm, not me personally with camping, but if she really wants to do it, as long as I stay in the Or if you do a day trip, like, I mean, have yes. you gone down to, like, Dairy Mart Road and gone to, uh, I, I, I've uh, gone to Fiesta Island with oh, her and to Levenheim. Yep. Yeah. Okay, she said she liked that. She <gasps> thought that was kind of fun. Oh my then, gosh. Then okay. she looked at me and she goes, You know, my mom doesn't judge other horses, but I do. Oh my gosh. And she said, when you went to Fiesta Island, she was. She said, I'm watching some of these idiot people oh my making God. their horse go in the water. What? And she's like, that She looked at you like, What is their problem? Oh my gosh. That She walked right in. She loved She walked right into the water with her fellow Icelandics. And you're right, there was yeah. a couple other horses and she there. Said, the other horses were obviously, obviously scared, and the owners were forcing them. And she goes, What is wrong with humans? That's not the way you do something. Oh my gosh. But she was like judging them. <laughs> Oh my, she does, I have to tell you, one of my things on my list here, does, uh -huh. she, does she like other horses, other breeds? Because she seems to be, she doesn't like to be around hot Arab type horses. She doesn't, oh. she picks up on energy and she's by herself, she's super chill. Right, okay. And she can, some, with other Icelandics, you can Google us, we're on right. YouTube. We, I can yep. go right, she fits right in, She nothing bothers her. I'm with another horse that reacts, she gets, she's like, whoa, okay, what are you doing? got it, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and that's not unusual as far as, like, Italians like Italians, and, uh -huh. and, you know, even with my show dog at a wolfhound, I never worried about where my ring was, because <laughs> I'd watch him, and he'd go, there are my people over there, yep. because that's... they all play the same, so that part is, is in place. She has but as her far people. as being yeah. around other horses with high energy, mm -hmm. yeah, she's like, well, yeah, if they're nearsighted, they're going to act very fractious, <laughs> and she said, and I'm not babysitting them, because I don't know who they are. Oh, my gosh. Um, and that, no. so I used to babysit a lot of horses with my horse Gracie because she was so calm, would calm horses God. down. This is not about that. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. No, not yeah. about that. No. Nope. So, but by your. So other, mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. You're hitting all these questions I okay, had by your. The other thing she said to me is <laughs> even though you certainly miss Gracie a lot, she goes, she comes with us a lot of times on the ride. She's not with you the whole time because mm -hmm. she obviously doesn't have a body anymore. Yeah. But she said, especially when we went to the beach, she was there for a little while. And she said, I was glad for that because yeah. they understand that this is school yeah. and heaven is the other place. Oh my gosh. You, so, I'm tearing up but, right now. I had Gracie cremated and uh, I thought of her when we were in the water. At yeah. Fiesta Island for a moment. And she was with us, though, and she said, you felt like she was, and you were like, okay, I, I'm rationalizing that. I'm coming up with it. She said, no, she was with us. Oh, my gosh. So, so yeah. oh, she and Disa enjoyed the water so much, too. Uh, this yeah. video on YouTube, if you'd like to see it, it's Fiesta oh. Island with Disa and Sabrina Drake. Uh -huh. Oh, cool. I will definitely look that up. Yeah. So. Oh gosh. Okay. okay. So, um, so she, her body feels really good. Okay. Well, then she said, "I'm a little heavier." I said, "Hey, oh. I'm going through menopause." You know. Oh no. Because she said you were trying to tighten the girth, and you were like, "Oh," and she goes, "I know. I had a few extra." Oh goodies. my gosh. You know. So. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, so and, and, and oh. She likes her watermelon cut up, please. She said. Oh hey, that's so, so. funny. Now does she, does she like? Okay, so when I write her. Um, she told really good. Everything goes great. She okay. she slows down a little bit going uphill at a canter, which is really unusual because okay. most horses like to just you know right. really take right. off. Is anything bothering her? Like okay. that all or... she said is she gets a little stiff in her hocks, but not enough where you would have to inject her or give her. Oh my god! And then she said to me, she goes, "Look, I'm going to take my time only because I want to do it the right way." Um, she showed me one time that you were, you know, let another horse go ahead of you. Uh -huh. And she said, he was all over the place. She goes, so I didn't want to pass him and get stuck somewhere. Right. You know, she was like, you go first and then we'll get up there. Oh know? my gosh. You, you, if I showed you my list of questions right now, it oh. has a circle with Hawks. Are you okay? Yeah, and it's weird that she mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, does she like her shoes? Well, at first she's like, I didn't think I needed them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But now you've taken her on enough rough terrain, and I, because my horse is barefoot, well, he's retired now. Mm -hmm. But I had boots for him, and she goes, oh, I didn't want to deal with the boots. I'd rather have some shoes. Oh, my gosh. And I had scoot boots for her. I just, the farrier yeah. said, let's put so because I do kind of ride a lot. So she goes, right. let's put the shoes on. I want to make sure. She seems yeah. to like him from what I can tell, but I'm yeah. Yeah. happy. Okay. Yeah. I mean, she still can feel her frog hitting the ground, and she feels pretty balanced and everything. Plus, I mean, Icelandics are, you know, I think they're great. I've, I've been around them so long. But also, she's been a horse other lifetimes. And she just said to me she was a mule in other lifetimes. So she said, I brought oh all God. that energy forward. So oh, my gosh. I'm pretty, I'm pretty um, 
uh, earth bound. You know, she said I'm pretty grounded when it comes to that kind of stuff. She's wow. fine with that. So. Wow. Okay. So wow. Okay. So then she just said to me, because I don't know if this came up the last time I talked to her, mm -hmm. but she kind of winked at me and she said, "You tell my mom that we've known each other before." Like, oh I, did you ever have a desire to go back to Iceland now? Because she said that's where we were another time. You're kidding me. Yeah. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. So, but you were a guy the last time, and that's yeah. what happens. We pick, and she said, and I was a gelding the last time. No way. So, you know, we, we pick who our parents are, when we're going to be born, what country we're going to be born, oh you gosh. know, what incarnation and stuff. And she said, well, and usually it's very synchronistic. And I had someone earlier who said, oh, I thought I had to get them from the very beginning. I said, no. I said, we cross paths with people in our life and animals in our, at all different times of our life. But it's usually very synchronistic, and all the pieces come together. Wow. Yeah, so. Oh, my so gosh. she's glad to know you again. And she said, and I don't mean, mind being a girl this time, but I don't want to have a baby. <laughs> oh, she doesn't uh, want to have a baby. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. That is so cute. Now, does she... Yeah. Um, would you be able to ask her if she likes long rights or short rights or mix it up like I do? Or what does she like? No, she say? likes she likes when you mix it up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and she said the only reason she would want to get home as we get into the winter, um, she said it's not because I can see well. She said the other horses at the ranch can't see very well. So uh -huh. when it starts to get like, you know, it's going to get dust, she's like, well, then I okay. need to be back at my station. How cute. Because the other horses around her, they're like, hey, you're looking out for us. Oh, Where do you the, mean you're going on a ride this late? That's she, ridiculous. She's you know, the watch horse. <laughs> yes, for the, her little quad over there. That's her job. That is so funny. Now, uh, I, and if I don't know if I can ask you this, but how does she feel with Gracie gone? Well, she said, I'm okay because Gracie still comes and visits once in a while. Mm -hmm. And again, Deep is like, I'm farsighted. Mm -hmm. And, if you know, it's always... Like, I had a gal earlier, she sold the horse, didn't think it was a problem. Now her other two are running the fence line, where they're both nearsighted. And they kept saying, great, you just sold our forest. I can't see diddly, you know. <laughs> so so because she can see well, she's like, it's not a problem. You yeah. know, she said, I do miss her, but I know she's okay. And uh -huh. she can still come for a ride with us. Oh, uh, that's so cool. So, I'm yeah. so happy. All right. Now let me see what else I have on here. Does she miss Gracie? Does she miss her parents? <laughs> so, her, her, her horse parents? Her horse parents. She was with them for seven years. Oh, uh, she said she goes, the mom that birthed her, she said, she was kind of a bitch to me. I'm not going to lie. So oh, my gosh. That's her. <laughs> and she said the dad horse was not the brightest crown in the box either. <laughs> She's like, you know, you know, I, she said, I'm not missing either one of them. Mm -mm, okay. No, that's, no. She used to bully them around, I've heard from Kathy. Well, because <laughs> the, the dad was a dummy and the mom was a bitch to her. Oh, my gosh. So. Okay, yeah. and then tell her I just got a horse trailer for her. And oh. my plan is not to put her in there a lot, but enough in case of a fire. That well, yeah. I can, yeah. And then once in a blue moon, I'll trailer her to somewhere fun, like to ride with the other Icelandics or to the Fiesta yeah. Island yeah. or to the river or something. You've got to treat the trailer like a toy. Okay. You know, it's got to be fun for her. Yeah. And so, she, you she know, turns, you don't wait she, until it's like everyone's waiting and we can't, you know. I mean, because she's very methodical about things. Yeah. And so, you know, you set it up and... You know, can she eat off the ramp and can she go past the ramp? And, you know, she may be curious and put her nose in and stuff. And then everybody wants to be so task driven that when you get her in there, you're like, lock the door. You know, I yeah. mean, if she wants to back out a couple of times, you let her. Then you uh -huh. you walk away and you do something else. I do a lot of natural horsemanship. Uh -huh. And because she's like very thoughtful, yeah. you can't, you know, hide anything from her, nor yeah. do you want to. Yeah, no. <laughs> but um, but mm -hmm. she just said to me, well, every time we have to go somewhere and get in a trailer, no, thank you. You know? Yeah. So, she turns around in there too, like if she right. has room. Yeah, and I so I got her one. I'm gonna take the middle divider out so she can kind of stand Good. how she likes to stand and uh, yeah, yeah, very easy take her. So yeah, to, no, I think she'll be fine. So ah, cute. Any, oh, any, okay, life is pretty good in your situation. So life that's is great. pretty good. Yep. Yeah, that's so weird with the questions I had. You you won't believe it. It went from <laughs> no seriously. Number two was the the the, the, the and you brought up hawks on your own. <laughs> well, usually when the owners prep the, the animal, then they can kind of run down. But it's also through the grace of God, because once I'm done helping you, I go on to the next yeah, one. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, so no health issues that she No, is... she feels great. Okay. She feels just fine. Wow. Yeah. What you could okay. do is maybe start her on 
some horse vitamin C like ester C. I mean, my guy's 28, obviously. Your girl is not that old. But mm -hmm. if you give them a little bit of um, horse vitamin C every day, that helps the joints way before you ever have to put them on any major supplements. Okay. And, and a lot of vets are like, well, we live in California. Well, okay, we have a lot of pollen. We have a lot of pollution. We've had a lot of fires. I mean, environmentally, it's not the best air to be breathing, even if you're by the beach. Right. So to right. do that a little every day, certainly that would be the way to go. So. Okay. I'll write that down. Okay. So, all okay, right. then. So yes. you're all set. Thank you so much. And tell, you're welcome. Tell Please Lisa, a kiss for me, okay? Yep. Tell her I love her. All right. Thank okay. you, Lydia. The best right. part about what I do is when you say it, she hears it automatically. So. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. Okay, hon. Have a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Lydia. All right. Bye-bye.